And now we're going to take a look at something that I know a lot of people have asked me about, which is reading and sending a locator to TouchOSC as you pass it in Ableton Live. kind of building off what we did with the last Ableton video, uh, but we're just going to create a really simple OSC message uh, that'll show all of this. So what we're going to do first is let's go into Touch OSC. So here we have an empty Touch OSC file, and what we're going to do is add a label. And now obviously you could add this to your template that you have, uh, but for this purpose we're just going to keep it simple. So this label here, we need to add an OSC message. So down here in the corner, let's go ahead and add an OSC message. And what we're going to do is we're going to call this slash locator. And that's it. This is going to receive information from Ableton Live, and it's going to show us the locator as it passes by. So now let's go into Ableton and take a look at the patch we're going to need. Now, if it's been a while since you've played with TouchOSC in Ableton Live, uh, you probably want to take a look at that last video, uh, which I mentioned before with information. We're going to take a lot of the objects from that Max for Live patch and use them in this patch. But of course, to keep things simple, I do have the patch available for you to download. Uh, follow the link below to GitHub and you can uh, get this patch and you don't even have to put it together yourself. You're welcome. So we're going to take this patch and I'm going to drop it on the master track. And just like before, we have to change this information here to the IP address of your tablet device. And then this is the port of your tablet device as well. And here, down here in this green box, it'll show you the name of the locator as we pass it. But let's just open this up and take a look. And this cue point detector uh, is actually something I found on a forum made by somebody named Xanadu. So thank you to them uh, for their work. But if we take a look inside this here, this patch is using plug sync, which is what we looked at in the previous video. And what we're doing is we're just pulling the information from the cue points and then routing that out. And so that comes out here and goes to this box which then this right here is the name of the OSC message, which as you recall in touch OSC, we called it locator. And then it's gonna go here to send T name and it's gonna send it here back out to our device. So this is a very simple setup. And of course we're showing this with just one label, uh, but this patch is pretty straightforward. So our patch and touch OSC are ready to go. Let's go ahead and add some locators. So if I scroll in here, let's go ahead and add quite a few. So maybe here at two. So maybe here at two, we can add one and we'll call this test one. And then here at three, we'll call this test two. And then just to show even bigger kind of wordings, we'll call this one winter. And then here on five, let's add one. Be sure to like, and then last one right here. Subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. So let's pull up our iPad here. And then if we go to the beginning and just press play, as you can see on our iPad, it is updating as this passes by the locators. And you could even start in the middle and it'll still update for your label. So something like this I know is pretty helpful for folks using Ableton like DJs or live performers. Uh, so hopefully this helps your template out. And of course you can take this uh, object, this template, 
the label and input it into your own template. And of course, with this patch, you can copy those parts as well and move them in, or you could just have multiple patches running however you want to do it in Ableton Live. So hopefully this helps your Ableton template with Touch OSC. Lots more to cover, so be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.